There are a lot of really great tools out there to help you speed up and streamline the low content publishing process. But if you're just starting out, you likely don't want to be spending a ton of money on a bunch of different software until you've actually proven to yourself that this is a viable business model. Luckily, there are some really great free tools out there that can help you with every step of the low content publishing process. And I'm going to take you through a bunch of my favorites today. My name is Rachel Harrison Sun, and I help people to generate passive income selling journals, planners, notebooks, and more on the Kindle Direct publishing platform. If this sounds interesting to you, then hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell so you can be notified every time I put out one of these videos, which is each and every Monday. All right, the first step in the process that is really going to benefit from some use of some sort of a tool is the keyword research process. First up, we have got AMZ Suggestion Expander. Now this is a Chrome extension that expands the number of search suggestions that are shown in Amazon's search bar. So this helps you to quickly discover related keywords that would have taken longer to find without it. And it also helps you dig further down into your niche and find related sub niches. Next up, we've got DS Amazon Quick View. This is another Chrome extension that you can use while scrolling Amazon's search results. It allows you to see a book's bestseller rank, book dimensions, page count, categories, Basically, it's just going to shave off a little bit of time so that you don't have to click into each book to get the information that it provides up top. Moving right along, we have got the self-publishing Titans Chrome extensions. Now these are two extensions. The first one is the KDP Research Chrome extension. This is similar to DS Amazon Quick View. It's going to serve up the bestseller rank, the ASIN format category it's ranking for. And it also provides a keyword niche score to help you determine how competitive the keyword is and help you make a decision on whether or not that, uh, whether or not to use that keyword. Now, another really handy feature here is that you can download the data that it provides you with. Their second Chrome extension is the KDP keyword expander. This one is similar to the AMZ suggestion expander. It expands the number of search suggestions that are shown in Amazon search bar and quickly helps you discover related keywords and helps you dig further down into your niche to find related sub niches. This is a big time saver. And again, it allows you to download the results. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at the self-publishing Titans Chrome extensions, then check out this video here that I've linked to down in the description below. Tell me quickly, do you use any keyword research tools currently to help you along with the keyword research process? If so, let me know in the comments and let me know which tools you've tried out, which ones you like the best. All right, moving right along, let's get into design tools. First up, you're going to need something for cover and interior manuscript design. So my absolute favorite free tool for cover design is Canva. And this is awesome for covers. It provides professional looking templates, done for you font pairings, super easy to use. Now it's not particularly great for interiors, but if you have no other options and you're looking for free software only, it will get the job done. Now, if you want to check out how to create a cover design in Canva, then check out this video here, how to create a book cover in under 10 minutes using Canva. Again, I've linked to that down in the description below. Moving along to vector editing. If you're working with stock vector imagery and you'd like to edit that imagery, you're going to need a vector editing program. Now my top pick for this is Gravit Designer. This is a free full featured vector app that lets you create drawings, logos, icons, typography, and illustrations across all platforms. Now there's a free and a paid version. You should be able to get by on the free version. And if you want to check out how this tool works, you can check out my how to create a coloring book from scratch video. Again, I'll link to that down in the description below. You also have the option of using Inkscape. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics editor for Linux, Windows, and Mac. Now, if you're working with any photos, you might need a photo editing program. So my top picks here are Photoscape. This is an all-in-one photo editing software and also GIMP, which is a cross-platform image editor available again for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Finally, let's talk about a great free tool that you can use to actually promote your books once your books have been created and published. And that free tool is MailChimp. MailChimp is going to allow you to create an email list. And believe me, everyone needs to get an email list started. MailChimp is a great option. It's free up to 2000 subscribers and it also offers you some landing pages. So this is a great way for you to, you know, create a freebie and then you can link to that freebie in your books that link will send customers to a landing page over on MailChimp 
And once they download that freebie, now you've got that person's email address in MailChimp and you can be promoting future books to them down the line once you have produced further books. All right, I hope these free tools help to get you started on the right foot with low content publishing. I've linked to every tool that I've mentioned here down in the description below. And if you're just starting out and you need some help getting started, then please download my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in less than a day and join my free Facebook group, Low Content Profits, also linked to down below. Check out these videos next for more low content publishing tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with anyone you think might find it useful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.